holy city and its family living up to its name. Special thanks to Oakland Toyota for allowing us to review and unbox this uh, Toyota Camry. Let's take a look inside and see what's changed. Now the Camry has been the top selling sedan for 15 years in a row. Uh, this happens to be the eighth generation and has major changes, not only in styling, but also in the interior. Let's check it out. Now it's really easy to access all of the controls that you need while driving your Camry. You'll notice here you have everything that has to do with um, answering the phone, changing the radio station, and navigating the actual control cluster that you see in this area. In addition to that, the Camry does feature lane departure technology as well as radar controlled uh, cruise control. So what you'll see here is all the controls associated with that in this area, which are easily accessible just with the press of a button. Now the Camry's navigation system has been updated, so we're looking at an 8-inch touch display featuring Toyota's Intune uh, 3.0 Plus. Now the Camry has also been upgraded to include wireless charging. This is going to support wireless charging for your iPhone 10, iPhone 8, Samsung, and LG lines of phones. Now in addition to your wireless charging, you do have your standard um, AC adapter, cigarette lighter, as well as a uh, USB port. Um, as we look at our cup holders, uh, you do have two cup holders, uh, your controls for your Eco, uh, Normal, and Sport mode um, are here, as well as uh, heating for your two front seats are also controlled in this area. And simply put, all you have to do is just press this button to go from each one of the different intensities. Now the center console, as you can see here, is pretty large. It has a lot of space and it also features two additional USB ports. Now the seats in the Camry have also been updated and these are leather seats and they're also heated seats. They're more sporty looking but they're not overly stiff either. So I really enjoy driving this car and I felt that the seats uh, were comfortable. Now also available in the Camry for the first time is a panoramic moonroof which brings in an enormous amount of light in the car and you can see how sharp it looks both from the inside and out. Now the Camry 2018 hasn't really sacrificed even in the legroom for your back seats. You'll notice I'm 5'6", a lot of room. This seat is pretty far back, almost completely back and I still have a lot of room without any problems with my knees hitting the back. You also do have your standard controls in the back so you can control the airflow um, of the heating and cooling system. Now the trunk features 15 square cubic feet and has a 60-40 split so you can fit longer items as well. The Camry comes with two different engine types, a 4-cylinder and a 6-cylinder. We're driving today the XSE which has the 6-cylinder engine. Now one of the things that you'll notice immediately is that the front of the Camry has changed dramatically. It has a more aggressive sporty look but also what you'll see is that it has LED lights. Now the LED treatment also continues on the back so you have LED markers on the back as well as your turning signals. Now another cool feature with the new Camry, especially in this trim, which is the XSE, is that it has a four-tip exhaust system in the back. Now the 2018 Camry also features 19-inch alloy wheels, 235-40 Bridgestone tires. Now driving the 2018 Camry is an absolute delight. Handling is fantastic, um, overall responsiveness is superb, and some of the things that I like as being a tech guy and why we have it on the tech channel is all the new technology that you're going to find in the Camry. Uh, one of the things that I really love about the a new Camry is the HUDs display. Um, unlike some of the other implementations that we've seen in the market, there's no plastic gimmicky uh, thing that's on the front of your um, console in this area, but what you actually have is something that's displaying on the screen. Now for some of you, it's going to require you to adjust how you're sitting in the car because I can tell it's almost like having a bifocal for those of you who <laughs> wear bifocals or any kind of reader glasses. Depending on the angle that you're in, you may or may not be able to see it so it's going to require you to have the appropriate pitch in the seat to be able to see it so as you notice right here as I'm going down I can see it really clearly in front of me but as I go up it fades somewhat but it's still present so adjusting your chair to take advantage of the lane departure your navigation um, a lot of the instrumentation that is here is going to appear on screen which is also going to help for distracted driving how many of us may have had a close encounter because you look down to see where you should be turning or or uh, you know, just to see any of the information that is now displayed here in the HUD. So having this HUD, to me, is something that greatly changes the overall experience of the Camry 2018. Now another improvement that we've seen uh, with the Camry is the 360 view. So as you can see here, we have uh, the 
reverse camera showing uh, the back of the vehicle, but then also I have this 360 view. It's almost like a bird's eye view to the car, showing me left, right, front, and back. Now this model of the Camry also includes paddle shifters, which uh, allow you to really take control of your driving experience for those of you who are you know, driving enthusiasts. While it's not gonna be at the level of a race car or Formula One type vehicle, it does give you that experience of being able to control um, how your car performs and how it shifts as you're driving the car. Now your driving experience on the Camry can be one of three types. Um, it could be either an eco mode, a normal mode or sports mode. Now one of the things that will happen as you're in each one of these modes, the dash and the overall driving experience will change. So I'm switching the car now into eco mode and in eco mode uh, the car is going to be more fuel efficient. I'll notice that the throttle is going to uh, be uh, less intense and as I switch from eco to normal um, I'll also then notice that there's some subtle change in the overall uh, performance of the car. Again adjusting for that new setting. If I choose a sports mode um, I'll notice also that the throttle, as you can see right here, is much more pronounced and it's a lot sportier. Again, sportier for a Camry. Now the other thing that you'll notice is that when you're in these three modes, going from your eco, uh, which is green, to your normal uh, color, and then also to your sport, is the dash will also indicate those modes by changing the color bar that you see here on the bottom. So that concludes our review of the 2018 Toyota Camry. I hope to see you at the Chicago Auto Show or at the first look for charity. See you in the next one.